Hey, what's going on everybody? I just wanted to take a second out to explain the lack of updates on my channel. Um, unfortunately, the boot drive on my desktop computer uh, died out. Um, this is the computer where I do all my video editing and everything. Uh, the good news is that all of the footage that I recorded uh, was on another drive and that one was perfectly fine. So I still have all the footage, I just haven't been able to access my video editing software to put any videos actually together. In the meantime, I've still been recording new videos and everything, so there's plenty more episodes coming. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know real quick before we get right into this one right here. Uh, this episode was supposed to come out right after the live sailing. They kind of like go together and everything because I recapped the pickups in this video. Um, so I'll stop wasting your time and get right into it, the lost episode. And we're gonna start off with a couple of trades from Instagram as usual. Um, first trade I did was with a girl named Sarah. I think her name is uh, Regal Bum on Instagram. And uh, she sent me a copy of Pokemon Crystal. That is the uh, last game I needed for the Game Boy collection. So I now have all the Game Boy, the regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance versions. I don't have all the DS games. That's what I'm working on next. And also a copy of Metroid 2. Which I was looking for for a while. Uh, really great to have this one collection. And I think now all I need is Metroid 1 for the NES. For some reason, I haven't come across it. And I'm gonna need um, Fusion and Zero Mission on GBA. And then I have all the Metroid games. Uh, next trade, uh, this is actually my second trade with this guy. Um, his name's Mr. Retro Time Arcade. You might remember him from another video where I picked up some stuff from him. Um, we did another trade. And uh, he sent me a copy of Pokemon Red. That's just some trade bait right there. I'm really happy to pick this one up. This is actually my one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, not too many people know about it, but this is probably one of the most like technically impressive games on the Game Boy. It's uh, Gargoyle's Quest. Now there's another. There's a sequel to this, Gargoyle's Quest 2, which is actually a prequel. Um, that's on the NES, and that game goes upwards of forty to sixty dollars, depending on like the deal you get on eBay. These games are really awesome. There's also another game you probably might have heard of it. It's one of the rarer titles on Super Nintendo. It's called Demon's Crest. Um, that's the best one in the series. But all of these games are really good. I would highly recommend picking this up now while it's still around ten dollars. Because once this one catches on, I think it'll probably go up a little bit in price. It's already starting to go up there, like. You're gonna end up having to pay like $15 shipped on this one, so um, I would pick that up now. For me, that's like a hidden gem because not a lot of people know about that game, and it's not that expensive. And the last game is Final Fantasy III. And I actually got this as a cart upgrade. Um, my cartridge, the label is the label's good, but it has like a paint marker writing on it that I've never bothered to take off. And also, this is like a really good game. I I really got it for trade bait, so I'm gonna trade off my other copy. I'm looking for Final Fantasy 1 and 2 uh, on NES and Super Nintendo if anybody's interested. And I guess this one's not a trade per se, but I got this off eBay for less than 10 bucks for all of these. And I'll just run through these. First one is Conker's Pocket Tales. This is uh, my first Conker's game. This is another one that's like, it's like five bucks and it plays kind of like um, Zelda Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Uh, I'd recommend it for the price, five bucks. Can't go wrong for that one. Uh, Final Fantasy Legend. This one was pretty good. I got this one in a lot with also this game. TMNT back from the sewers. And those came out to be really cheap. Um, I've been looking a lot for Game Boy games on eBay because the market's not really like that hot for them. So if you could, you could a lot of times come in at the last second and be like the first bid on it and get it for, you know, a few bucks. So I've been looking a lot for Game Boy games because there's certain ones that I want, like the really good ones. I want all the Castlevanias and all the Final Fantasies and all the Ninja Turtles and all like all like the main ones. I don't really care about you know all. The, I'm not trying to get a complete set. I'm not a complete set kind of guy. But uh, like I said, this is taking too long. So let's move right on to my yard sale pickups. All right, first pickup of the day, as you guys might remember from the video, um, I got a couple of PS1 games. Um, the lady bought out the bag from her house. Of course, she, for some reason, she thought because they were open that people wouldn't want to buy them. She only had one sealed game out. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes these people, <laughs> I just don't get them. But uh, first one's a copy of Gex. This is the long box. 
Of course, this is like the original cardboard long box, so this shit is like peeling off. You gotta like glue that back or whatever. Uh, long box copy of Tekken. I'm not even sure if they make a, a regular version of Tekken, maybe like a Greatest Hits or something. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. And Tekken 2. So, I already have Tekken 3, but it's the Greatest Hits, and I have Tekken 4 on PS2. I don't know. I don't even know where they go up to. What do they go up to? 5 now on PS3? I don't have that one, so probably just need 5, and I guess all the middle ones, Tag Tournament, and all that nonsense. So, um, that was that. I got that for 5 bucks, so. Uh, another garage sale. Of course, I made it a point to be at this garage sale because it said uh, they had Nintendo 64, and when I got there, it was a beat-up copy of Mario Kart that she wanted $25 for. But, she had a copy of Forza 4 on the Xbox 360. Um, as you saw in my last videos, I got a free Xbox 360. They told me it didn't work, but it did. I have pretty much no, no games for it. So, she wanted 5 bucks for this. I talked it down to 3 because the disc was in the greatest condition, but I mean, it works perfectly fine. So Next sale, uh, the guy had this NES. It's in pretty much perfect condition. There's like a little bit of like marking up here. But the pins on this are really tight, like, as you can see, it's almost like they didn't really use it much because it's hard to get the games in and out. And it actually, surprisingly, plays the games without having to, like, fuck with it too much. Alright, so as you saw in the video, um, the lady came out with a couple of Genesis games. Uh, they're all complete, except for one is missing the game. She threw it in or whatever. These were all five bucks. Miss Pac-Man. Taz, Escape from Mars, Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy's Invention, and this is Case Emanuel for Sonic 2, I don't have that, so pick that one up, all that was 5 bucks like I said. This one you might remember from the lady who went inside the house to go grab some stuff, uh, this is the uh, purple GBA, it's missing the back battery cover and it came with uh, 4 games. Two of them I gave away already. Um, they were like kids games, but I got Frogger Adventures and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. This was three bucks for the system and four games. Uh, that was pretty much their price. She said five, the lady inside yelled out two, so I was like, how about three? <laughs> and uh, she was like, fine, three dollars, so. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, I tested out of works and everything, so that's cool. All right, so actually this week I was out of my normal area. I headed out a bit west because there wasn't too much going around around here. There's maybe like six or seven sales, and a couple of them are like the same shit that they have every week. Um, that's getting pretty annoying. But uh, I caught this guy on the way home. It was a random sale that I found, and he had a copy of Altered Beast for two bucks. So I was pretty much done. Uh, I was in my neighborhood and I decided to stop at the last couple of garage sales. And I stopped at this one sale that I'd been to last year and he told me he already sold the games but he might have some in the back of his garage as you guys saw. And I picked up a bunch of cool stuff from this guy. Um, I don't know why he had these buried in his garage and not out for sale. But we got uh, Halo 2 on the Xbox. Don't have it. So I picked it up. This was pretty unexpected. There was a couple of 3DO games. So the first one is the only one that was complete. It's a copy of Mist for the 3DO. And then also had a copy of Alone in the Dark. Need for Speed. And Gex the Gecko. Um, he had all those in, it was like in a uh, little sleeve for a Dreamcast uh, sampler. I just saw like five discs in there, so I started pulling them out and they were fucking 3DO games, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, I was pretty disappointed, this was only the case, it's a copy of Soul Calibur. I guess I just gotta find the game for it, but it was pretty much free. Um, this also was in their disc copy of Alien Trilogy on the PlayStation 1. Need for Speed on the PlayStation 1. Tenchu Stealth Assassins. And uh, the last thing I got there was my find of the day. It's a copy of Intelligent Cube. Um, if you guys don't know about this game, this is probably uh, one of the top maybe 20 or 25 rarer titles for the PlayStation 1. It's a pretty pricey one. If you buy it on eBay, you're looking at like you know, $40, $50, depending on the condition. 
So I was really happy to pick this one up and add this to the collection because I am an avid PlayStation collector, especially PS1. And this is actually one of the rare times where an expensive game is actually really good. I mean, I don't think it's worth $50 personally, but it's a good game. And that's all I'll say there. Um, everything there, he told me to make him an offer. I told him this five games, how about five bucks? He said sold. All right, so after I bought the games, he told me he had a couple of systems in the garage. So we went to go check them out and he pulled out a PS1. This is uh, the original like fat gray PS1. I actually don't have one of these because my original one stopped reading discs and we threw it out a long time ago. And a slim PS2, which is, this is probably the second one I found of these. Um, I have a silver one. Um, funny thing about these, he didn't have the wires, he didn't have the controllers, he didn't know if it worked or anything. So he told me that I can have them. I didn't ask him for them. I asked him how much he wanted for them. He's just like, just take them. And he said, I don't know if they work. Go home and test them out. If they work, throw a couple bucks in the donation jar at 7-Eleven. So, you know, if they work, I'll throw a couple bucks in there, pay it forward. Alright, so this last pickup I didn't actually get on video because I see this guy every week. He lives around the corner from me. And I always stop there because he says he gets a new stuff. And he does get a new stuff, but it's never anything that I need. Uh, first thing we got there, Spec Ops Ranger Elite. And uh, paid three bucks for both of these games. And another one is Crash Bash. As you can see, I actually went back to that garage sale where the guy said he was going to dig the stuff out of his attic. Unfortunately, he only got to around half of the boxes. So we didn't get to any of the games, but he did get to some of the consoles. And I'll just show those real quick. Uh, I got the Charcoal N64. And that has the regular jumper pack. Tested that out. Works perfectly fine. And he dug up the Sega Saturn that he was talking about. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, tested this one out. Works perfectly fine. This one came with two controllers and all the wires. Um, the 64 came with just the AV cable and the power cord with no controllers. But I have a couple of extra ones, so that's cool for me. Uh, I paid 25 bucks for both of them. It's usually more than I pay, but the guy said he has more stuff, and I want him to contact me about it and not sell it to somebody else. So it's always good to kind of plant the seed, show him that you're willing to spend money with them. back. So. I gave him my number, he told me he was going to text me when he gets the stuff out of the attic. Um, hopefully he does and he doesn't just put the shit out. Alright, so I'm not sure how long this is going to turn out, so I just want to thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of like the live sailing or whatever, if I should keep doing this or should I just go back to doing regular pickup videos. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Um, next time I'll try and get better footage with the cell phone. I wasn't, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of just holding it there like I was holding a phone. So um, let me know guys. And as always, follow me on Instagram and everything. And thanks. Peace.